you know so i'm aware that's why i was just like man but when i do my shows i be so turnt man like it's a it's a it's another level yeah with travis scott's it's on like, stage yeah. i'm not you know i'm not like the guy that got like you know i had the backup dancers i ain't got the drummers and that no i'm all about the blood you know, we got to turn up. The you know, blood. It's all about rage. <laughs> blood, blood. Just like the, Who's bleeding on stage? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not bleeding, but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies. Sure, sure, sure. sure. He's He's an an blood experience. Hello kings and queens, welcome to Value for Varo. I've had a lot of requests from people to cover this tragic event. I should have done this in my other channel but my other channel is currently banned so I still have some days to catch up. I'll do this video in three parts. When I heard about those poor souls who died in that concert, I were bitterly in my spirit. Those guys died because of ignorance and rebellion from the truth. Just look at the amount of satanic imagery displayed right in front of people's eyes and no one took note. Actually, those people that died, they serve as a blood sacrifice to the god of the music industry, who is Satan. God will never allow anyone to die prematurely. In this way, God is not a god of premature death. These concepts are rituals and just by being there, you are taking part in the rituals. And I don't really think God can save you because people willingly open their souls and give in to the darkness. And they choose to worship these people instead of worshiping the most high god it's crazy this is not the first time i've spoken about this over and over i've made several videos on my, on my main channel telling you guys about these things the music industry is satanic these people work on principles and rules and one of them is blood sacrifice you have to do a sacrifice like there's no way okay you have to sacrifice human blood go back to your archive michael jackson had the same thing Okay, and it's not only Michael Jackson that I love artists, but I think Michael Jackson is a very popular artist, so I don't want to talk about artists that people don't know, but Michael Jackson pretty much went through the same stuff where where people you know, go for a concert and they don't come back home, they die there. They never get back home. This thing is very common, it's very trivial because it's a principle, it's something that is, when I see these things, I, I just feel sad in my spirit. I can't say too much, I can't do too much because the more you expose these things, the more you get hate from people. Travis Scott, Michael Jackson, and the rest of these satanic artists are not responsible for all these deaths. The one to be blamed is the devil. When these artists start singing, they, they open their souls and these demons leave this, this astral realm and they go around attacking souls that are loosely connected. I mean, if you're weak spiritually, you're gone. Like, it's over. It's over. You can't do anything. Demons themselves, they go around and kill people. They destroy the souls. They cause havoc. Because the devil only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. It's in the Bible. Two years ago, I made a video exposing Travis Scott, the doctrine about Travis Scott in his highest in the room. I, I actually said that the highest in the room was him being the highest in the occult. And like it was like it was just my spiritual eyes just seeing things in plain sight. And I had a lot of hate from people and really I don't care. That was two years back. I mean that was two years back. People don't learn lessons and sadly they become victims. And now I'm I like I'm getting pussy and stuff like oh it's satanic, oh it's satanic. Two years ago, my like, I mean this thing was open for everyone. It was hidden in plain sight. And when people come out, like truth has come out, they expose the truth, they're like oh they'll be like, oh like these people are crazy heads. These souls they're gone like they can't come back they're dead it's over listen to clearly to this interview you know so i'm aware that's why i was just like man but when i do my shows i'll be so turnt man like it's a it's a it's another level yeah with travis scott's it's on stage like, yeah. i'm not you know i'm not like the guy that got like you know i had the backup dancers i ain't got the drummers and that no i'm all about the blood you know we got to turn up the you know, blood all about rage <laughs> blood, blood. And just like the, who's bleeding on stage <laughs> i mean you know, i'm not bleeding but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies sure, 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 sure. You know, the, blood blood. the rage and blood rage and blood i mean you don't need rocket science the rage itself is the name of a demon and blood is just some spiritual sacrifice i mean he's openly admitting that he's openly admitting the truth himself 
how he opens portals for these demons to come from the astral world into the real world and possess people and when they possess people you get possessed by the spirit of rage and you start creating chaos and that was what happened in this concept that like that's just plain truth that's what happened in this concept and guess what a lot of people died eight people man like that's too much the whole the whole crowd surge and all these deaths is certainly because of rage the demon called rage and it creates a way like a plateau where demons can do blood sacrifice and kill people for no good reason this is a lesson this is a lesson for those who don't want to rock on the right path the astral world is not some kind of like mystical world it's a real place like as i've spoken about this a lot of times in my on my on my main channel and people think like i'm just being so spiritual but i'm i'm just telling you guys the truth man the astral world is a real world it's a real world filled with demons many demons it's actually a portal to hell i like all these sorcerers all these new ages all these astrologies magicians they know about these things okay they know about these things i mean like i've studied the dark side like the underworld and i know that the astral world is a very very real place and if you're not careful like they can take you there they can take you there like it has nothing to do with ads all this imagery it has nothing to do with ads i've spoken about this over and over on my channel stay away from satanic music flee away from sin and follow god like i'm feeling pain in my heart but i can't do anything about it because these souls how they dead it's over and when you die in the concert promoting sin promoting evil and you go face god like i don't really know i don't know if god's gonna take them in his kingdom or, or not because we have a lot of kids in this concert these like teenagers so how would they face god because definitely when you die you have to go for your judgment we have to be very careful with our lives i mean life is so short and you're responsible for every single thing if you go on the wrong path it's your fault like you can blame people for deceiving you because you yourself can go around and you know search for the truth know the truth and the bible says when you know the truth it shall set you free so i'm done with the part one let's go to the part two